Okay, so a lot of people are not going to be able to simplify this expression right here because they have not yet uh, mastered this critical skill that you need to know in order to be successful in algebra. But uh, let's see how well you do with this problem. And of course, the problem is the following. Uh, 2x squared minus 18 over x squared minus x minus 6. And what we want to do here is simplify this rational expression. Now, a rational expression is effectively a fraction where the numerator and denominator are polynomials. But even if you uh, didn't know that this was called a rational expression, if you have these critical algebra skills, well, you should be able to do this problem pretty easily. Okay, now, if you know the answer, we'll put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'll tell you what the skill is, and we'll walk through exactly step-by-step step on how to simplify this rational expression. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, now for those of you that did this right or know how to do this problem, what is this skill that I am talking about? Well, the skill starts with an F, all right? And you might be saying, well, is it factoring? Well, if you said factoring, you would be absolutely correct. You gotta know how to factor. Uh, in algebra. If you can't factor uh, polynomials and other type of expressions, you're going to have a tough time uh, to, um, you know, do a problem like this. Matter of fact, it's impossible to do a problem like this. And you were doing factoring way back in elementary and primary school as well, but you may not have realized it. But anyways, let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer here is 2 times x plus 3 over x plus 2. Now, if your numerator is 2x plus 6, over x plus 2, that is fine as well. But this is the answer, and if you got this right, we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus, A 100%, and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in simplifying rational expressions by factoring and cross-canceling like factors. Now, if you tell your friends and family that, they're going to be like, that is so boring. Leave me alone. I want to go back to my Netflix. But in all honesty, if you did this right, very, very good. And if you didn't do this right, well, let's go ahead and identify what you don't know. It's likely you um, had a tough time with the factoring component of this problem. All right, so let's go and get into the solution right now. So here is the problem. Again, we have 2x squared minus 18 over x squared minus uh, x minus 6. Now, what we want to do is to write this in a simpler way. Now, we don't know if that's possible or not. Now, for example, if I had the fraction 100 over 200, I'm like, oh, yes, I can write this in a simpler way, uh, 1 over 2. But if I had the fraction 937 over uh, 8, uh, let's say, uh, 817, well, here, I don't know if I can reduce this fraction, right? Same thing here. You don't know, but you certainly need to try. And the way we try to, um, or what we need to do to attempt to simplify any fraction or rational expression is we need to factor, all right? So again, that is the main skill here. So uh, looking at this problem, you have to say to yourself, all right, can I factor 2x squared uh, 2x squared minus uh, 18, and can I factor x squared minus x minus 6? Now, let me just go ahead and just uh, state something right off the bat. Uh, this video will not cover all the techniques that you need to know in order to factor completely in algebra. That is a huge topic in and of itself. So if you need help with factoring, let me just go ahead and uh, uh, suggest checking out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. You can find links to those in the description. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel that cover different aspects of factoring. So this is a huge uh, skill set. It's not just one individual skill. Okay, but nevertheless, we need to know how to factor the numerator and denominator, or at least attempt to factor, because sometimes uh, you cannot factor. Uh, you're dealing with something that is just prime. Now, if we can factor uh, this uh, problem, then we, we're going to think in terms of like a regular fraction. So let's use a simple example here. So what we're kind of uh, doing 
is no different than what we would do to simplify, again, a regular, a regular numeric fraction. So something like, for example, 20 over 30. Now, most here are saying, oh, yes, Mr. U2 Math Man, that is equal to 2 thirds, and you are correct. But really, technically, what you're doing is you're factoring the numerator and you're factoring the denominator. And what we're looking for is like factors. So 20 we can write as 2 times 10, and 30 we can write as 3 times 10. And this is outstanding because here we have two common factors, right? We have the same factor in the numerator and the same factor in the denominator. And when we have uh, like factors in the numerator and denominator, we can cross cancel and whatever is left is the simplified fraction. So this is no different in terms of dealing with rational expressions. So what we, what we wanna do here first is factor the numerator and denominator in the hope that we can find some like factors. Okay, so that is the main idea. And now let's go ahead and get into the next step, uh, which of course is doing the actual factoring. Okay, so we have two x squared minus 18 over x squared minus x minus six. Now here, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna factor out a two. Okay, we're gonna factor out the GCF. So this is gonna be two times x squared minus nine. All right, now this right here, this x squared minus 9 uh, can be factored as well, but we'll just take this one step at a time. And then down here in the denominator, x squared minus x minus 6, we can factor into, uh, into these two binomials, x minus 3 times x plus, through, uh, x plus 2. Excuse me. Now, uh, factoring a quadratic trinomial, this is a whole you know, set of skills in and of itself. So again, I'm just showing you the answer. I'm not getting into how to do this. It would just make this video way too long. So if you don't know how uh, this was factored into this, then that is like you know a major algebra emergency because factoring, again, is a critical skill. If you can't factor, you won't be able to do algebra. So you know if you're struggling with this, what you need to do is just stop all your other studies in terms of math and go back and learn uh, how to factor. Everything else will become so much easier in algebra once you really get factoring down. Okay, so hopefully you understand uh, that this is uh, factored into that, and this is factored into this. But we're not done yet because we can still can uh, continue to factor this x squared minus 9. Again, a lot of different skills here. So let's go ahead and take the next step, which, of course, is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely need your support. What I'm trying to do is reach as many people as possible. Uh, right now, it's not looking too good from a global standpoint in terms of math proficiency, okay? Uh, you know, as technology increases, uh, for some reason, it's like uh, proficiency is going down. And if I had to take a guess, I think it's because people think that learning math is as easy as pushing a button on a calculator or just, you know, tapping your cell phone. You don't learn math in that way. Uh, the only way to learn math is by you know, a lot of hard work, okay? Whether you're you naturally, you know, have a good, um, you know, aptitude towards math or you hate math, doesn't make a difference. Everyone still has to put in the work because there's just too much to know. So it's just not gonna, you know, um, yeah, you're not gonna learn or master this material by just by clicking, you know, something on your computer or on our cell phones. It's, you know, I wish it was as easy as that, but it's not. So, you know, I think, a lot of people are looking for shortcuts. Again, there are no shortcuts, but really the most effective way, okay, to learn math once you're willing to put in the work is to find someone who can teach you in a way you like and understand, someone who get, delivers comprehensive instruction. That is critical because if you're getting like little quick tutorials or you're getting little fast little lessons, I can show you how to do this problem in like uh, 30 seconds, right? Okay, you do this, this, and this, and this, and this, done right? My videos are not that way okay, for a reason, because I'm assuming the other person uh, on the other uh, the person on the other end of this video is like, you know, maybe lost or they're struggling with this material. So it warrants a full explanation. So if you're trying to learn math, find a teacher that teaches in that manner. Now, if you need help, if you want me to be your teacher, well, listen, go into my full courses. Again, you can find links to those in the description. But uh, by you simply hitting that subscribe button, it's like I gained a new student. And if you do that, you might as well hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. And uh, I really do appreciate you giving me a little bit of time to spiel about why I do what I do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the rest of this problem now. All right, so now um, here, 
we already um, uh, factored out that GCF of 2, and we have x squared minus 9. We already factored out the denominator. So right here is a situation called the difference of two squares. It's another factoring technique. So x squared minus 9, we can factor as x minus 3 uh, times x plus 3. And now we're going to write that over our denominator, which, of course, is x minus 3 times x plus 2. So here is the uh, that expression fully factored. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at it right here. And once we've factored out completely the numerator and denominator, what we're looking for here is opportunities to cro uh, cross cancel any like factors. So we're just going to scan. Hey, do we see anything in the numerator that's down in the, uh, the denominator? And the only thing that we see is x minus 3 and x minus 3. So we can cross cancel one of these factors. Okay, again, all this is being separated by multiplication. So like factor, like factor, we could cross cancel this. And all we're left with is 2 times x plus 3. And then we have an x plus 2 down here in the denominator. All right, so this is the final answer. Again, you could just take this 2, multiply back in, so you have 2x plus 6, but that's not necessary. All right, but what is necessary is your ability to factor. All right, I mean, I really am not uh, exaggerating in terms of, uh, you know, the importance of factoring, and it's one of the most common uh, areas where students, if students are having trouble in algebra, uh, typically they are having a tough time in factoring. And uh, the reverse is true. If you improve your factoring skills, uh, everything just gets much better in algebra. All right, And don't feel bad if you're struggling with uh, factoring. It's one of those kind of areas, too, that I think, um, you know, you just simply have to get the right instruction and practice, practice, practice. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.